If you're looking for a way to support your logs when you're using your chainsaw mill, I built these years ago to work on my vehicles out of my pole barn. And they're really incredibly strong. They're about 22 inches long. And there are, I took six by six pressure treated posts and they're about 11 inches long. They're the width of the 2 by 12 And this pressure treated 2 by 12 is, is incredibly strong. And I built a bunch of these so I could stack them to work on my vehicles. I would jack up the front end and put one of these underneath. Then I would go to the back and bring it up and then I would come back and raise the front of the vehicle more and set another one and I've, I've worked on, like I said, my, a lot of vehicles, and I've worked on them probably four feet off the ground by using these same stacking blocks. When I started chainsaw milling, I needed a good solid base that was sturdy, that had a good footprint, and wouldn't be apt to tip over. So I decided I would use the same method, and I can use the three-point PTA on my truck on my tractor with my hay hook to set these logs and these are these are pecan logs and they are extremely heavy this log here is about 20 inches in width it's about 11 feet long and I believe if I'm looking at my charts correctly an 18 inch pecan log for every linear foot it is about 108 pounds so we're looking at a little over a thousand pounds but nonetheless these things have been as sturdy as a rock I don't have them sitting in my drive underneath the, uh, the pole barn roof I have them over the drip edge so it keeps it out of my way but also it gives me a little bit of shade and also the top block that I use has two two by fours one here and one on the other side that I use when I was, if I'm putting a, a vehicle on there, I run these lengthwise and these two by fours act as chocks to keep the car from rocking back or forth. With my logs, they also act as a safety measure when I'm loading them onto the blocks. I've got one, two, three, four. This is four blocks high. It keeps them from rolling dangerously. And then of course, this is my I'm getting ready to make my first cut this morning and I use a 14 foot section of a 28 foot ladder it's made a lot stronger it's a lot more stable very little deflection you can we can take care of that later on but I just wanted to show you these these blocks if you're looking for a way to get your work up to a level where you're not bending over all the time I'm had a few birthday cakes and I'm I'll be 70 on my next birthday and I found out a long long time ago that any work I could do at waist level was always easier on me and my back and because it's easier it's safer anytime you're applying a lot of pressure or you're bending over in a bind of some kind you'll find that you begin to do things that can get to be a little haphazard one other little thing I took the feet off the bottom of my section. I use the widest section of my extension ladder and they make really good chocks. They keep the log from rolling. Now I could put a screw in here if I wanted to and I may do that later, but for right now that seems to be working just fine. Once again, I just wanted to share with you if you're looking for a way to support your logs, these can really be good. They're 22 inches long, 11 inches wide, and two of them make a very good stable platform. I can push against it all I want, and I really can't, I really can't sway the log longitudinally in any way. I, I guess I could push it over if I really, really uh, set my mind to it, but because of the weight and because of the footprint, it really, really works well. And uh, if you're there again, if you're looking for a way to support your logs while you're milling, get them up high, up off the ground, so you can work on them. And there again, I'll go back to the 
I'm not my pole barn. As a matter of fact, I've just finished one pecan tree. And I've got it sticked and ready to dry out. And I'm just going to let them air dry. There's a lot of homes 500 years old that were built with logs that were milled right on location, and they did not have a kiln nor the time to wait for them to dry as long as some people say the, the one year per one inch of thickness. So one last shot of this. Once again, these are just simply two. You can buy two, you can buy six by sixes pressure. I would get pressure treated and cut them into 11 inch, 11 inch lengths. This is 22 inches here. And the span that this makes is very short and therefore it is incredibly strong. I've had a, a full size BMW up on them. I've had my tractor up on them and uh, they don't even squeak. They're so strong. You guys be safe out there and don't forget wearing protective gear while you're chainsaw milling is not a sissy thing. It may save your life. Hope you enjoyed the video.